Hey everybody, my name is David and I'm the pastor at Walden Community Church. This week I have been thinking about obstacles, you know, things that get in your path, things that block you, things that prevent you from living or just things that prevent you from being better, you know, or getting better and uh, things that we have to overcome, maybe things that are insurmountable and we feel like we can never get past them. Just that old phrase, right? I'm between a rock and a hard place. But have you ever identified your rock? Like not to just say, oh, there's a rock or there's something in my way or there's something I can't get past, but can you put a name to that something? Can you say, you know what? I know what my rock is. I know what this thing is. It's this, this thing that I can't get past, this thing that I can't overcome. What's in your path? Is it pain? Your past? Another person? What about immaturity? Or maybe it's you. Maybe you are sabotaging your own life. Are you getting in the way of you? Is it an addiction? Or it's an old habit that won't die? Or maybe it's the fact that you just can't make good goals. You can't make good goals. You can't visualize your goals, right? You've tried the dream board thing. You've tried putting uh, your goals on your refrigerator and you just can't do it. Or, or you just can't stick to it, right? You just can't keep the rules that you set for yourself or you're unproductive or you're lazy or you just think I just hang around the wrong kind of people, whatever it is. Do you know what the world's going to tell you? I mean, you're going to go buy those self-help books. You're going to listen to those motivational speakers. You're going to watch those talk shows and you're going to listen to their message. It's going to sound great. Maybe it's inspiring, but do you know what they're going to tell you? I'll tell you. I'll tell you what they'll all tell you. It's the same mantra that they all say, be yourself, be yourself. Or they'll say, uh, try harder, right? You can do it. You can do it. Try harder. Don't give up. I have heard those a lot, heard those a lot, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. And, and let me just say, you already know this. You already know this. None of those things work. None of those things work. And that's the reason why those books sell. That's the reason why those motivational speakers get popular because we are just so desperate for answers. We are so desperate to get past the things that are in our way. And the reason why we buy those books and the reason why we listen to those motivational speakers is because we are all failing at life. We are. I mean, we look good. Our house is vacuumed. Uh, we smile. We're getting great gas mileage, but inside we are broken and we are empty and we are coming apart. And the world says, just be yourself. What if I don't like myself? And the world says, just try harder. But what if I don't have anything left to give? And the world reassures you, you can do it. And you're looking down at your life and your mess and you're thinking, no, I can't. I need help. I need help. Listen, doing life our way leads to brokenness. Doing life our way hurts ourselves and we hurt other people. Our way robs us of life. Our way robs us of joy. This week at Walden Church, we're going to talk about the resurrection. And if we really believe a man named Jesus rose from the dead, if we can really believe that, and if we can really believe that, then what that means for us, we're excited about it. This Sunday, we have two opportunities for worship. We have our 9.30 service, which is more traditional. And then we have our 11 o'clock service, which is a contemporary worship service with a band. And at 11 o'clock, we also have a full children's program from nursery all the way to high school. Thanks, everybody. Have a